Do you feel like you'll be ahead of others at college after Big Picture? Definitely. So if I ever needed to find an internship, got that on. If I ever need to make communications, if I ever need to communicate with anyone in the public, I'll definitely know how to do that because, I mean, we, we do that like every week. So mm -hmm. we know exactly what we're doing when it comes to that. And communication within, within groups mm -hmm. has been such a valuable skill that we've learned here. And if you have any school projects at my school that I'm going to, it's a lot smaller with a lot more group projects. So it'll definitely come in handy. And I'll definitely be knowing what to do. I'll definitely know what to do. <laughs> definitely know what to do. <laughs> Were all those skills something that you had naturally or did you develop that over time? Um, going through Boy Scouts, it's definitely helped with that. Um, learning how to be a leader through that and through all of our projects here we've had, it's definitely helped me improve that throughout the years and throughout all the internships. Um, what else did you learn about yourself during your time here at Big Picture? Um, I have learned that I need to relate things to the real world, so I under so it's helped me learn why I'm doing it and why I'm learning this. Otherwise, I'm like, what's the point of this? There's no <laughs> point. So, <laughs> so I've learned that relating it to things that I care about, like with vectors, I learned to relate that to my video game that we were creating in my internship, which helped me realize that I need to be actually learning this and be paying attention. Right. Yeah. Right. What advice would you give a sixth grader or a freshman on how to be most successful here at Big Picture? Don't screw around. <laughs> <laughs> Take that, it seriously. Is that something that you struggled with? Uh, yeah. I've, at first, okay. I did. Uh, I did definitely struggle. I kind of was kind of took it for grant the program for granted, mm -hmm. and then by the end of my freshman year, I had gone. I had finally gotten a real internship, mm -hmm. and I realized, wow, this is actually an amazing program, and I'm able to do these really cool things that people in other schools won't be able to do. So I've learned to really take those for granted, not for granted, really learn to not take those for granted and to really use those to full potential. And freshman year, I waste a lot of time messing around. Right. So once I learned projects, how to do projects and got motivated, it was good. What college are you going to or thinking of going to? <laughs> Perfect day to wear this. Oh. Going to Belmont University in Nashville. And why? Because they have a brand new film program going on there. Um, the chair of the film school at Chapman University, which is a well-known film school. Uh, she is now the chairman of that school, and the facilities there are brand new. Oh my gosh, they're, they're amazing. Um, and she was telling me about all the things she, I met with the chair, and she said, she was telling me about all these things that they're, they're doing to um, uh, bring the world to know that Nashville, then their school, has the technology and their facilities are amazing. Mm -hmm. So they're so they're trading using their facilities for internships and stuff like that, and it just has a lot of potential. And I really believed in it. Um, and it's a small size. There will be there's only 150 kids in the f film program in total. So that's cool. Yeah. Um, how did the internship program influence your choices and your path to college? Uh, I made sure that they do internships. That's one thing that Belmont is doing. They're working really hard to get internships mm -hmm. for this program. I've learned that big class sizes doesn't work super well, and learn and when they really get you in the field and relating to things, mm -hmm. have, are, are what make the school amazing and what um, what you really gain knowledge from is when you're with the experts in the field learning about what the, all their all their tips that they've learned over the years and things like that are what I've really looked for. And what advice would you give a freshman regarding internships and how to be most successful with those? <laughs> Don't screw around. <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually, uh, there are probably two big things. Mm -hmm. Don't email. I have found calling is the most effective way because when you once you got them on the phone, they can't ignore you. <laughs> so you, they have to pick up and talk to you, and you get an answer. And to also, don't sit around waiting for an answer. Mm -hmm. That's always the worst thing. I've seen so many people throughout the years where they just sit there and f just they send one or two emails out for the week, and then they sit there waiting like two weeks for that one response, and it's never going to happen. And so, and then they a lot of them leave Big Picture because of it because they didn't really fully use the potential of it. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so, 
it's it's very disappointing, but it, it has so much potential. So you guys always push to learn what exactly you want. And one more actually would probably be that um, find intern find ways to relate other internships to what you're wanting, like to find out what you want to do. Like medical field, we've learned that it's pretty hard to get an internship right. in there. So maybe do a lot of um, uh, customer relations or any, something like that where you interact with a whole bunch of people every day, which is what you do if you worked in a hospital, for example. Just learn how to relate other internships to what you're wanting to do is to learn, mm -hmm. instead of just focusing on, it has to be the actual one I want, yeah. which can be sometimes impossible, <laughs> so. Great, thank yeah. you.